This is a new flashlight that I just got. It's the Sofern IF22A. And what I want to do is just test whether it produces different lux figures, so whether it's brighter or not, on um, a few different batteries that I have. So over here, I basically have the stock battery that came with the flashlight. This is the Sofern uh, 21700 cell 5000 milliamp hour battery. Okay, it's kind of looks quite similar to the one that came with my, my Sofern SP35. Um, and on just on these two here, I've got the Samsung 30T and the Samsung 40T down below. So we're going to have a go and just see whether we get uh, different lux readings. So I'm going to turn off that light first and I've got a little testing area to the left where I'll just put the torch in the same area. But then you're going to just see the, the lux figure app on my phone and I'll just turn off this light. Okay, so first up we've got the Samsung 30T and I'm going to put it straight into the testing area to the left um, in the exact same spot and I've reset the meter, it's going to measure what the max is, so let's have a go. Okay, 357, 58, 59, okay, that looks about max. And I'll take that one out. So 359 lux from the ceiling bounce test. And I'm going to put in now the stock battery, the um, 5000 milliamp hour battery, the Sofan branded, branded battery. And uh, let's give this a test. Okay. So 359 is the figure to beat. So we're getting about 346. 346 on the uh, stock battery so you do have a you know definitely significant difference not a huge difference but um, on the Samsung 30T it does draw a little bit more power it looks like so I'll turn this one off and uh, okay so I've just picked up a Sofern uh, 4000 milliamp hour cell. This one actually came with my Sofern IF25A. Uh, I'm going to chuck this in and just see if this uh, has any different effect at all. So about 360 is the number to beat. Let's um, give this a try. Hmm. It's fully charged cell as well. So this is actually this is actually the um, lowest. It's produced the lowest amount of light. Three three three. Okay. So that's interesting. Um, let's go ahead and try the Samsung forty T again. See what kind of figures we can produce with the forty T. So three fifty nine is the figure to beat. We got about 345 on the Sofern 5000. Let's give this one a go. Okay. Wow, 360, 361, 362. I'm putting it in the exact same area. So definitely with the 30T and the 40T, we're getting um, some higher draw on those two batteries. And um, the 40T is actually maxed out with a few extra lux, but um, quite similar to the 30T actually. Let's turn this one off. And I'm going to drop in the 30T again just to see, just to see for fun what it's going to do. Okay. Turbo again, so 362, I think it was 359 before on the 30T. Fifty-seven, is it gonna budge fifty-eight? I think that's about it. Three fifty-eight, three fifty-nine. That's interesting. So it is definitely brighter on these Samsung cells. So in case um, 
you guys wanted to know and I found that the reviews that just included the um, tests with the stock sell they were actually lower than the figures that were uh, specified on the the uh, manual so I think definitely with using these two um, cells you can definitely get a bit more light out of them that is the end of the test so it does look like there's definitely a difference with these Samsung high draw batteries and um, I dare say once the voltage starts dropping on them as well you're going to get more even results but um, yeah I'll keep playing around these batteries if there's any updates I will post uh, some something in the comments and um, go from there